Hey folks, Jonathan here, uh, messing with this Studebaker again, and hopefully we're going to have this thing driving today. But I want to address something real quick here. I know when I done these, uh, when I was working on these brakes on this side, evidently I had a couple people or a few people say uh, I see a bunch of rust holes in the frame. So I'm going to show you real quick what you were seeing. There's a panel right here. It comes down off the body. And you're seeing holes in this. The frame itself, uh, as you can see, has got paint on it. This is a completely separate panel. And here is part of the, the cross member that comes off the frame. As you can see, it's all solid. I don't know if I'm going to fix this panel here. Or just leave it it's not a big issue it's like a, a kick panel that goes inside but the thing is is it don't it's not part of the actual car I'll go on under and show you okay you can see my floor repairs here and of course the frame of the car which uh, you can take a hammer and hit this frame anywhere you want you know it's all solid but as for that panel here's the back side of that panel and you can see it's just sheet metal. I guess it's just a splash, a splash apron. And what it's covering is, is your switches for your uh, your dimmer switch and your switch for your start. Because it's got the starter switch under the the uh, clutch pedal. So that is what you're seeing. You're not seeing uh, any rust at all on this frame. Like I said, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't dare be fixing this car if the frame was rusted anywhere. Uh, especially wouldn't even consider my wife driving it if there was any frame issues so uh, no panel on this side yeah I'm assuming they must have just put the panel on because the uh, maybe the switches was there all right okay folks I hate to do this but no matter what we do here we're chasing leaks and the problem is is this tube, for some reason, is just rotted all to heck. It's falling apart, and every time you get a little heat on it, it so it's just falling right through. Getting bigger and bigger. So this tube is rotted. So as bad as I hate to do it, I'm going to go up and cut the tube, clear this out a little bit, and cut the tube at each end, and solder it up. And we're going to do away with this tube all together. And uh, that's the, really the only feasible way that we're going to be able to do this. So let me get to, to working on this end, and hopefully we don't hurt anything else. These other ones seem to be good and solid. I don't know what it is about this one, why it's rotted, but it's just falling apart. So I don't know if it gets, if it gets better farther up. Yeah, it feels like, yeah, it's getting harder right here but there's just too much here and I'm more worried about the inside of it the far side I don't want to take a chance on it just rot it all the way yeah all the way up to here feels like it gets harder right here so that's uh what two and a half inches of of rotted too that might be a little more yeah it's falling through right here yeah just don't want to take a chance on it so I will go ahead and get this Get some side cutters and come in here and I'll show you how we do this to, to actually do away with the tube now old tractors and stuff I've done away with four or five sometimes when a tree limb jams through them and you know you just got to do what you got to do and we uh, we want to drive this so, you know I could always order an aluminum radiator but I don't want to do that right now all right well, okay looks like crap but unfortunately not much you can do so we pulled it out until we've gotten to where the holes at and we've got the other side done so we'll get them cleaned up and try to get that soldered and then we'll do another pressure test okay there's one end capped and now we're going to go to the other end and then maybe you can see it a little better where it's then splitting apart okay you can see where i have the tube pulled all the way out and now the the big issue is getting this thing clean i'm gonna put a little acid on it and clean it and then uh scrape it up some more and wipe it and clean it and do everything you got to do to get it to where you can get some uh, solder to stick to it all right okay folks that one's capped off 
so we should be ready to press your test. All right. Okay, folks. Not sure where I stopped at yesterday. Uh, we was fighting thunderstorms and wind blowing, rain, everything else. So uh, I did not get to drive it yesterday. Didn't get as far as I wanted, but I did get a little ways. So luckily, Scott, uh, fellow YouTuber, but a good friend of mine, also came down from uh, Greensboro area and gave me a hand. And uh, I'm gonna leave a link to his. YouTube channel in the description there if y'all want to see. He just got back from uh, Las Vegas. He went to a, a hot rod, rat rod show out there and done a little bit of filming and uh, some good looking cars. And he uh, does some good videos, LS swap, stuff like that. He's what he's working on. But uh, new belt, got new hoses on top and bottom. Got our Australian made hose on that side. Uh, batteries in. Pretty much permanent. These ends ain't the best in the world, but we got our hold down and wing nuts. Luckily, there's a hardware clutch to me, and uh, I was able to get some wing nuts. There's the hardware store right over there. Uh, anyway, so let me see. Brakes are done. Back brakes are done. They they was dry. They wasn't. Nobody had greased them up like they did the front. Uh, actually, it was brand new shoes. Don't know why they was left loose, but we went ahead and took care of all that. Scott had helped me with that. Uh, all the brakes, brake lines are done, and uh, we now have a full pedal. Well, right there. So we got a really good pedal. We got our gas pedal hooked up. Just used an old hinge and screwed it down. It'll work for now. Our clutch pedal is coming all the way up like it's supposed to. Thank goodness. So we're good to go there. So that's all taken care of. I'll show you the brake line. So there's our new rubber line coming down. New steel line running out. New steel line running there and up the frame. Now uh, there's our gauge wire. We're going to play with a little bit here soon. So I guess the only thing left is, is for me to get my button gear and get these, this trunk pan finished up and bolt this gas tank on. And uh, so there's a couple little things I need to do. There's a spring that's broke on the uh, return for the emergency brake cables. I need to get a spring on there. Uh, you can see my exhaust is uh, in really rough shape, but I've got a new muffler. Well, not a brand new muffler. I've got a muffler here that was laying in a car, a parts car that I had got. And good shape, so it's good enough to go on there. So we'll uh, later on do that. We're gonna, we're gonna try to do this test drive first though. So uh, that leaves me with the trunk pan and the gas tank and then I need to get a seat in here and we'll figure something out for it and then we're going to, uh, we're going to see if this thing will, will drive and hopefully today and on this video. Okay folks, it's the following day. Uh, I'll tell you what, I really want to be driving this thing. Got this panel in. Again, not perfect. Just hammered it out quick, throwed it in there. Uh, we are getting ready to do that one. And we're probably going to cap under these and weld them in, put some sealer over them. Just something to, to cover them. We're not going to, you know, cut everything out of the sign. But we do have a body mount bolt right here that I think I'm going to cut out and put a new bolt in and put the floor over it and then bolt it down. That's the only place I see that we have any body mount issues, so we'll take care of that while we're at it. Anyway, let me get at this thing so we can get this tank on there and drive it. All right, we got a the old seat back in it. I just threw something over it here until we figure something out. The bottom comes out of this. It's really easy to get to the bolts. You can get to them with a ratchet and a socket, so it goes in and out easy. Uh, Trunk's done, tank's on. Uh, believe it or not, it's down there, but that's where it was originally, so I'm gonna have a long funnel to fill this one. But I've gotta go get some gas. That's the one thing we're missing. And it's getting late on me, and I wanna see if it'll drive. So I'm gonna roll on and grab some gas, and hopefully in a few minutes I'll be trying this thing out. All right. All right, it took a minute, but we got it running off the fuel pump. Set 
think it's time to take it down the road. I need to wash the windshield, but I think we're gonna, right now we're gonna not worry about it. I'm getting, getting too close to dark for me. All right, let me get squared away here and let's go. All right, we're ready to go. We got a uh, oil pressure, we're charging. I had to tap on that bonus rug better again. Got good brake pedal. Let's do a quick brake check. Holy moly, that thing stopped. As well, long as this thing don't pull, I don't see any issues with the brake. It sure stopped good. Set you up there. Hold on just a minute. Okay, we don't have a back seat, so I'm gonna set you up on the tripod in the back. I don't know how well that's gonna do. We're gonna try that first. We'll shoot down the road and back. See now we need a quiet exhaust. We need to work on the overdrive. Junior code. All right, folks, we're back and done. And uh, the only thing that I see that I don't like is it's geared so low, which overdrive should take care of that. And it's too loud. I've definitely got to get the muffler and stuff on it. So that will uh, be next. But I think it, I don't see it as being an issue of having it ready for the 
cruise in. It's not just coming Monday, but the next Monday. So anyway, appreciate everybody watching. And until next time, bye.